two hours on this? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, I would like to thank you, first of all, for raising this matter of the ranch. And this matter of the ranch bearing, having its bearings on charcoal burning is just a small matter. Right Honorable Speaker, the first question is, why did the government introduce ranches in the first instance? Has the government decided to do away with ranches? What uh, studies have they done to make sure that there is change of policy on having ranches in the country? Because by the time the government makes a decision, Madam Speaker, to give away the land for ranch into farming, that is a drastic change completely of policy. So we need to know on what basis did the government move? Which scientific study did they conduct? Was this emotionally done? Was this just politically driven? Why is it that you had to choose to do such an activity on a precious ranch? Because we have shortage of animals in the country. We are looking at improving the beef industry in the country. We need to export beef in the country. Now you are just turning into peasantry farming. What is this that you are doing? We need really the minister to come up with a holistic, a holistic picture of the ranch. Uh, Madam, Madam Speaker, as I conclude on this point, it is extremely important that the country must have alternative energy policy. We must have energy policy. We have generated enough electricity. We are now even having dimmed energy. We cannot even take power. So why can't we have a macro master plan of having cheaper energy such that we save our forests and we save these rudimentary practices? How can we in this 21st century, the dot-com era, and we are talking about charcoal burning in the country? Really, this is something, right honorable speaker, I would like to appreciate you. We need to go modern. We are using modern facilities. We need to support our, our, our Ugandans to improve their methods of, of energy such that they can be able to live in the modern world. That is what it means, moving the country to the middle income economy. Tony. Thank on, you. Honorable members. Honorable members, we are sending Mama Mabira to come with the, a written report. We are sending her to come back with a written report that we shall debate. And when she's coming with that report, she should be able to give us the alternative, the alternative to the charcoal. We need to go modern, as he says. Yes, Tony. Thank you. 